Hi, this is Christine Sullivan. Pandemic Purple. I'm a painter with a studio in downtown Columbus, Indiana. Normally this time of year I'd be working on 20 to 30 new paintings, typically seascapes and boatscapes for upcoming spring and summer gallery shows. But during the pandemic, I found it pretty difficult to just paint. I would come to the studio and I would be scratching my head and looking at my books and wandering around, then I'd just go home. Then about, oh, two weeks ago, I was looking out the back window of my studio, and if you look over to the left, you can see there's a large, tall bush, and it is lilacs. And the lilacs had just come out at this point. And lilacs are just an incredibly special plant and, and bush for me. When I was growing up, I used to live out in this old farmhouse outside of Syracuse, New York. And in the backyard, there was this huge, huge lilac bush. And my mother would be hanging her laundry next to it, and I'd be riding my bicycle with its training wheels around it and could just smell the fragrance of the lilacs and the love of my parents and just living outside. So, of course, I went out and cut some off and brought them into my studio, and I was putting them all over the place. And the entire studio smelled like lilacs. It was amazing. At the same time, I had pulled out a lot of my Wolf Con books. I was really saddened to hear that he had passed in March. It was right during the beginning of the pandemic. Now, Wolf Con is one of my favorite painters. In fact, I went out and bought a Wolf Con jigsaw puzzle. And I've noticed that since I've been looking at his work, and this jigsaw puzzle. Just my surroundings have caught my attention and my eye. I mean, the trees and these lines on this, on this building. I was slowly starting to wake up. So I brought the lilacs in and I set up a still life. Now there's one thing about purple. I'm not very familiar with it. It's not normally in my palette, except I did notice this landscape that I did a while ago. Um, but my surroundings growing up were in the farms and fields of upstate New York, out by the waters of Cape Cod. I loved playing in the ocean. All of this area have the color, the main color themes that come into my palette are grays and blues and greens, seaside, seascape. So I did a little research about the color purple. Google says it relates to imagination spirituality, the union of body and soul, and connects us to a higher consciousness. Another Google search says it combines the stability of blue with the fierce energy of red. Hmm, like that one. And then the theme of the color purple, the movie, it says it's always to stay strong and keep fighting. This purple is serious stuff. So I went back and looked at the Wolfcon paintings in the book, and how is he treating purple? Or the Stephen Corn on the cover of another of my favorite books. I was starting to see purple in a whole new light. And while the pieces were starting to come together, it was time to start mixing. So I'll take a little bit of the Rose Dory and some cobalt. Let's see what happens there. Add a little bit more red. Add a little bit of white. Let's get in there. Oh, yeah, I add a little bit of alizarin and it changes a little bit more passion right and I'm going to try a little bit of this ultramarine a little too much see how you can go 
different shades. Now I can take this. I like this nice oh, red. And then I'm going to take this and gray it right down. I often use this actually in place of gray. If you can tell so much here, but if I add even a lot more white. And look how look how that changes. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Once I get this right, well to a color I'm looking for. And then I can darken it up. Add a little bit maybe of the Prussian blue and completely change the tone. I'm not a fan of that. That's more alizarin. Here we go. So you take the same color and you make light and darks. I think at least uh, two or three lights, two or three darks are the same color. Again, it's just adding reds and blues and some white. So I'm looking at the setup for the still life of the lilacs. I have a 40 by 30 canvas. Normally I would have a ground on here, but I just wanted to get started. So I started sketching in the blocking in the three lines and some of the major shapes. I started putting in some of the additional just to get the composition to a point where I felt pretty confident that it's, it's where I wanted it to be. And then I started painting. And this is the result of that first one. I'm not sure if it's done. Uh, I like to paint flat, um, but again, it's that purple and how is it working with the greens and the yellows. And after those lilacs passed away, I went and grabbed some more. I set up a light. I bought in some of my other paintings and put them on the background so I had some reference. And uh, I got back to my palette and worked in a few more of the lighter colors that I'm normally working with and uh, got started on the composition again very similarly get my palette ready I usually have quite a few warms and lights and lights and darks of the same colors and then I was coming at it I was actually talking to someone while I was setting up so this was uh, had a lot of the different marks on it and this is this is how I'm referencing between the painting and the still life I start with some pretty big shapes just to get color on the canvas, just to get an idea of the composition. I'm very physical when I paint, a lot of, of back and forth, ups and downs. I use a lot of different palette knives, a lot of different tools. Um, and at the end of this session, this is actually after the second session, I felt like I was at a point where it was either time to stop or it might be done. Again, I usually set them aside. And so here are the ones that I was doing during the pandemic. Uh, instead of the seascapes, I was doing uh, still lives. And I actually enjoyed it. And I've really enjoyed getting to know purple a little better. This is Christine Sullivan. I hope you're doing well. And I hope to see you soon. Take care.